Hey Scorpio. All right, you guys, gonna be for anyone who has Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements in their birth chart. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading, and it will not resonate with every single Scorpio out there. All right, first, oh shit, first reading <laughs> will be for the ones that are taken or loosely involved, and the second one will be for my singles. All right, so it's overall energy, and okay, that was quick. The runner. Overall energy and love for my single, for my taken or loosely involved um, Scorpios, you have the runner. And runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy and listening to ego. I feel like you had that the last time, but I'm not sure. Bottom of the deck is the cassette. Outdated thinking, conditioning, and replaying events over in your head. All right. Running from fear? Running from outdated thinking? Running from something? So let's see. Okay, some of y'all have outdated thinking about something that you're a connection you're in or like the principle of the situation. I'm like running from something, so let's see. Now, think of the past, present, and future, please, for my taking a loosely involved Scorpios in regards to the situation, please. It's kind of past, present, and future for my singles. For my take not to take it or loosely involved Scorpios. Fix to Jesus. Oh shoot. Past, present, and future for Scorpio. Okay. Current energy. Oof. And near future. All right. Bottom of the deck, you have the King of Cups. This is you. Your own energy. Now, so, very emotionally mature person I feel you are coming off as. All right. We're going to clarify this. I'm gonna clarify this. Why is the Four of Swords here? You might be dealing with another Scorpio, or any water sign for that matter, a Libra, a Leo, um, or any fire sign for that matter. But I do have Libra, water, and fire here. Especially Leo. Alright, so four swords in the past. Alright, so you're taking a break. Alright, I thought you are the one that ran. Four swords, you are taking a break from this person. Alright, why the four swords here? Why is the break happening here? Either you're taking a break to um, heal or to meditate to really understand um, a situation better or they are. Okay, someone is. And while they are, I feel like while this break is going on, there's this, um, yeah. Somebody is replaying, it's a cycle that keeps going on in somebody's head about something. Okay, somebody is thinking about something very heavily on and on and on again. In solitude, all right. One is the time to yourself, all right? I thought like this is you, to be honest with you. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy here. Could be involved with any one of those signs. Uh, Leo and Scorpio is here strongly. All right. Yes, uh, and Virgo. I feel like you've taken, you are, or you were in the past, taking time to yourself to think about something, but on a loop, like you're still thinking about it, okay? This may this may have caused conflicts in the conflict in the current energy. Why the five of wands here? Or you're trying to think for some of you, you try to think about closing something out. You might be on a break. Um, you might have been on a break before um, to try to close something out. To uh, you might have been thinking heavily during this um, time in solitude whether you want to close something out or not. But I do see a break from you and this person that you may have inflicted. Okay, clarify the five of wands, please. It's great. The ace of wands. Okay, you may have started back up with this person, and it caught, and for whatever reason, it's not how you expect it. For some of you, page of pentacles. Tell me more about the current energy. <laughs> As soon as I say it's not how you expected it, you got the card of unexpected. Uh, Scorpio energy. For a small, very small portion, there may be somebody else here. Because the Queen of Wands coming up in your near future, and you do have the Page of Cups at the bottom. If you are, okay, you may be running from the person you're currently with. Or you, you were running from them to think clearly about a situation, but when you came back to initiate a new relationship or a new uh, like a new start to them, something blew up or there was some type of fight or some drama or 
I don't know what the hell this is. It's, it looks like drama. <coughs> and Scorpio, what the hell is this? Because you've been getting the same type of spread for the last few weeks now. Every time I do your spread, it's, it's the Five of Wands comes up. The last time I did your spread, the Five of Wands came up. Why is drama surrounding your connection right now? Ace of Wands also talks about rekindling something. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. But I'm seeing like unexpected change or unexpected, uh, possibly an unexpected message came in from someone or someone else. Tell me about the Ace of Wands, please. Some of you, for a small portion of you, had very explosive makeup sex. Very, very small portion of you is what I got um, after an argument was had about somebody dipping off, maybe. Tell me about the current energy for Scorpio. That's a lot. Three of Wands, uh, Knight of Wands, and the Strength card. Something you waited for it came in, or someone you waited for it came in. And unexpected change. I'm, I'm, I keep seeing change and unexpectedness. And a messenger. Like I, I keep seeing good news coming in. Possibly someone from the past may have reached out. I don't know what this is. Clarify the Queen of Wands in the near future. Clarify the Queen of Wands in the near future. I'm seeing this getting better for, some, for a, a good little bit of you. Queen of... There's more than one person here. Okay. So, this is you. King of Cups. This is you. But there are two beautiful ladies right here. Alright? Or men. Alright? Doesn't matter. But you have two people here. Your outcome is happening to two people. That's what this argument was about. But I feel like you, for some of you, you waited on this other person to come in. You may have been... You may have took a step back to contemplate whether to end this with the current person. You may have contemplated whether to um, end things with a, with the current person or a past person. You may you, to end something with someone, but I do see two people here, and some of them are at a, one of one of them is at a distance. It could be a fire sign or earth sign. All right, with the chariot here, one of them is at a physical distance. Someone is actually coming in to travel to you. And your near future outcome, I'm seeing you being around both of them. Think about the near future outcome. Okay. Oh my freaking goodness. Queen of Wands and a Two of Swords. So the Queen of Wands has now come up twice, which is the other woman. And a Two of Cups is here at the bottom of the deck with the Two of Swords. So you do not know who to choose. Okay, there is conf you are conflicted about who to choose. Still, because you got the same read last time. <laughs> this could be a fire sign, an earth sign, or a Libra. I got Libra energy pretty strongly and fire um and earth. Scorpio is also coming out heavy too, and Cancer. That's what the, that's what the argument was about. Mm, 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 mm. So in the near future, I'm still seeing you be conflicted about these people, about these um men or women that you have in your life, about not knowing who to choose. And it may be for some of you, maybe more than two people. You got the Queen of Wands twice, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're conflicted. Tell me more. And there's some messages. But you may be running from your current person. Some of you are running from the other person. But release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Release your ex. All right. Bottom of the deck, you have getting to know each other. All right. As you reveal and your as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. Whew. All right, let's get the singles. Let's just get the singles. All right, but yeah, you're being told to release your ex, okay? Because you had some type of unexpected message possibly from that ex um, come in, and it may have caused drama, and you're being told to release that ex, okay? Because in the near future, I'm saying you're being conflicted on whether you want to go back to your ex or not. Spirit saying release them. All right. All right, let's see. Singles. energy and love for my single Scorpio, please. 
overall energy and love for my single Scorpios. Okay, that's a lot. It's overall energy and love for my single Scorpios. Okay. Self-indulgence. Okay, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. So focusing on self, not focusing on nothing else. All right, bottom of the deck is separation, yeah. So you might be um, separated from a divorce, or you might be in some type of um, missing them energy, some, a past person. All right, okay, so let's see. Trying to, trying to focus on self, but still missing them. There's still sadness there, you know, the usual. Let's look into it. Taking the past, present, and future from my single Scorpios. And love, please. The present energy in the near future. Oh, I love. Oh, I like this now. I like this. And the Queen of Cups is, sc is screaming self love to me, and not so much falling in love. So we're gonna clarify it though. The sun here at the bottom of the deck. We have enlightenment. That's clarity. That's happiness. All right, purity. I like this. So let's clarify. The chariot. That's simple. Moving on, moving forward with your life. Okay, after some type of breakup. All right, you're going in the right direction. Is what spirit trying to tell you? Okay. Cancer energy is strongly, and Capricorn is here too. We also have Leo. Clarify the Queen of Cups for my single Scorpios. It's actually you too with the Queen of Cups. Okay. And really, any water energy, water signs. Okay. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Knight of, oh, okay, Knight of Cups. Okay, so you, you got a love offer coming in, or has already come in from this person that you miss. Okay, while you focus in on self, this person may have to try to come back in, or this may be a new person. All right, so remember about the current energy? You may have even been the one, uh, yeah, somebody manifesting you or get manifesting them. Somebody's trying to make something work? Yeah. Somebody can, yeah. The Tower and the Ace of Wands. Somebody, this person that you miss, or they're missing you, they may have tried to come back in. They're trying to make things work. But the emotions are still there, I feel like, on both of your parts. Okay? Uh, I feel like you accepted things for how they were. I feel like you were, you were being in this self-indulgence energy. And here comes this person, or a new person. So they miss, again, maybe new. They may have traveled towards you. Some of them, may, I'm saying traveling for some of you. Okay, Aries energy is here. I feel like this love offer was unexpected, but I feel like you were happy about it. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Magician, I feel like it's a mutual thing. Clarify the Page of Pentacles in the near future. Whew, okay, Three of Swords. Someone may be coming to tell you that they are still heartbroken. Yeah, about somebody walking away. Someone feels still hurt. Ten of Swords and the Devil. Good God. Somebody is obsessed, like really hurt, really hurt. Tell me more about the near future. Because the Page of Pentacles is a messenger. So the Three of Swords come out. Someone's still hurt. You may be coming to tell someone, you may be telling somebody that they're, yeah. Three. There was somebody else. Okay. Three of Swords, Three of Wands. So there is a lot of people here. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. There are three people here. And you have three of swords, three of wands. Hmm. You may hear through the grapevine that there was somebody else uh, with this person. Some of you already know this. I'm trying to figure out why this is your outcome. Some of you I see getting your heart broken all over again. I hope not. Let's, let's see something. Might be dealing with an Aries, Libra, or a Taurus too. Pisces is here too. Any additional messages for my singles? Nonetheless, I do see you get offers, possibly from multiple people. Yeah, I, as soon as I say that, you got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yeah, somebody new is coming in. While you're dealing with, while you're talking or dealing with possibly even this past person or um, 
you may have plenty of new people coming in as well. This is the romance of a lifetime. So either way, I'm seeing you having options, but for some reason, I'm seeing somebody being heartbroken. I don't know if it's you or not. I'm not picking it up that it's you. It may be somebody else come in and tell you that they're heartbroken. Somebody you waited on or they waited on you. They may feel heartbroken because you have a new love that's coming in or whatever the case may be. But either way, you got a new love coming in. So it's up to you what you want to do with it. All right. But all right, you guys. All I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoy it. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.